Hi, well, Rob here again with another issue of Agritrex, and this time you find me in Russia, and I'm south of uh, Moscow, uh, quite a distance, uh, about 600 kilometers south of Moscow in the thin soil zone of Russia, and we're going to have a look at some of the farming practices. Currently, I'm in a, in a smaller village here in uh, Russia, and uh, these villages are very typical of uh, the centralization of uh, the farmers that were in the area and currently of course we have uh, larger farm operations and this is still where they uh, get most of their support and labor for their operations so we're going to have a look at uh, some of the ideas and farming practices and what's going on inside of russia and quite a uh, juxtaposition between uh, john deere tractors and combines and cows being herded down the road I'm currently in a village in the southern part of Russia and what strikes me is that uh, following my meeting with one of the farming operators here, which was uh, about 10,000 hectares, was the fact that there's a social fabric that uh, I don't quite frankly understand exactly, but uh, this particular farming operation is also in charge of looking after the school, the daycare, uh, the church. Um, and there's a there's an underpinning here of social fabric so in the background you see the office of the main farming operation here where the employees would work and and the farm owner would actually uh, make make his plans but behind me here you're going to see a village and the village here is where the folks from the farming operation actually live uh, this guy would have 10,000 hectares he'd have uh, about uh, 3,500 uh, livestock in the operation, which would include some cattle and would include uh, um, sheep and some dairy animals as well. So I find it really interesting that there's this whole underpinning and social fabric that uh, as an outsider coming in, it's going to take a while for us to grasp. We're at one of the uh, machinery depots for this farming operation. This is uh, one of five uh, depots that they have. Uh, this is the uh, shop here and one of the innovations they did this last year was they put windows in and heaters in so that the workers could work all year round. All of a sudden the productivity and the uh, scheduling of the equipment maintenance is much improved. So these guys are running a fairly uh, uniform set of, uh, of tractors. Uh, um, what they're trying to do is get all of the equipment harmonized. Uh, there's some old equipment here that they're getting rid of and they're uh, running uh, Borgo equipment and they're also bringing in some Amity, um, new Amity uh, air drills uh, right now that they're experimenting with as well. So this is a bit of a look at one of the compounds and this is where the guys hang out and do the equipment work. Well it's July the 8th, uh, 2013 and I'm in a field about 250 kilometers uh, south of uh, Moscow and uh, they're just taking off the winter wheat uh, it's coming off at around 1.8 uh, tons per hectare, a little bit on the soft side for them. They'd like to see that in the uh, neighborhood two and a half, maybe north to three tons, but uh, uh, they are taking it off right now and uh, it seems to be standing okay. It doesn't look like a real heavy crop, but it is clean. Uh, as you can see here, the crop is uh, good and clean and uh, totally ready for harvest. These guys are using uh, swath guidance on most of the equipment and uh, running a fleet of combines. Uh, there's John Deere equipment here, uh, lined up and ready to roll. They just finished pulling off that field there. Uh, these guys are gonna harvest uh, a total of 100,000 hectares. They have 24 combines that they run in a fleet, and uh, they run their farms in 5,000 hectare blocks. The topography, as you can see, is uh, rolling and undulated. Uh, high pH soils, high calcareous soils. If you can see down in the uh, flat over there, if you could just see down over there, you can see actually calcareous outcroppings from the soil. So this soil here is uh, a thin black to deep black soil, strong A horizon, you can see the soil here, and uh, decent organic matter. Yeah, so there we are. Some John Deere combines in the field of Russia. The things that impresses me on the farming operations is diversity of crops that they have here. We have everything from corn and wheat and barley and canola as you would expect. They uh, grow a lot of soybeans there. Sunflowers is a major cash crop and of course I'm currently in a field of sugar beets and sugar beets are also a crop that's involved in the rotation. Across the road from me right now the crops uh, that have been taken off because the wheat has been harvested are being prepared right now for the sowing of this coming year's winter crops uh, such as winter wheat that's going to be going in. Soil pH here in this particular area varies between uh, 5 
maybe even below five and to a mid six range. So acidity is an issue for these guys. And they measure their organic matter in terms of humus and that humus is running about 4%. It's, uh, as you can see, very flat land, uh, slightly undulating in some areas and uh, pretty good soil, thin black soil zone here with a wide diversity of crops. So anyways, there you have it. One of the crops that they grow here is uh, corn, of course, and this is a nice stand of corn. And I've been looking here at the uh, color between the bottom and the top leaves. It's got uh, pretty good coloration and even uh, nutrition distribution. This looks like it'll yield fairly well. Uh, again, thin black soil here in this particular field. The corn's got to be approaching 10, maybe 11 feet high. Staring off into the northeastern quadrant of Moscow right now, it's hard to believe that, you know, as far as the eye can see, all you can see is concrete and buildings. It's just staggering. And you can't even see the end of it because there's the haze there that's preventing you from really seeing the, the whole horizon. I find it fascinating how many people would live here. Just uh, glancing off a little bit to the north here, you can see a little bit of a golden dome there. That's, uh, I think, towards where the Kremlin is, although you can't see it from here. Amazing number of people live here. Thank you.